ไปด้วยก้าวก้าวลูกาครัล does not suffer from vertigo and he is not scared of the dark. His job is to explore caves. He doesn't know that he's a speleologist because speleology has not been invented yet. They call him Grottenarbeiter, cave worker. He works at the bottom of a huge abyss, where a mysterious river sinks into the dark. For 200 years, man's dream has remained the same: follow the dark route of the water. A story of impossible challenges. The main characters are yesterday's Grottenarbeiters and today's speleologists. Il tema è un sogno ed è un sogno che stiamo cercando di concretizzare metro dopo metro. Ancora nessuno lo sa con esattezza dove corre. Finché le forze tengono, penso che terremo duro. Se non si ha un fuoco dentro, una passione. La passione è molto forte. ci porta sempre più in basso. Questi ambienti pericolo è sempre dietro l'angolo. Ci sono ovviamente i rischi, però andiamo lo stesso. Torneremo sempre ogni sabato, saremo sempre qui. While today the urge that pushes these men to risk their lives is the irresistible allure of exploration, in the early 1800s the motivation was another, a very real need. Water. Small springs scattered throughout the woods on the western side of Mount Snežnik in Slovenia are the origin of the Reka Timavo River. The flow of the waters increases in the Slovenian territory. Until disappearing underground near San Canciano Abyss. Here, the river slips underground to begin its long journey in the dark. An unknown voyage of over 37 miles, which today unites two nations, Slovenia and Italy, passing under the woods of the Karst and near the city of Trieste, before flowing into the Adriatic Sea. By the early 19th century, Trieste had become the commercial port for the Austrian Empire, an important city. It counts over 20,000 residents and is in full urban expansion, and it needs water. Summer droughts create dramatic situations and frequent arguments at fountains. The Teresiano Aqueduct, built in the mid 1700s on the site of an ancient Roman aqueduct, has clearly become insufficient. Its flow is minimal, and frequent small collapses compromise its flow. In some areas, the artificial tunnel is actually transforming into a cave. Nature reclaims its territory. To try and resolve the problem, the city government creates the Water Commission. The most logical solution seems to be to collect water from where it flows in large quantities in the San Canciano sinkhole. But extracting it from the bottom of the immense chasm, over 650 feet below the ground, is an impractical operation, both for the exorbitant cost as well as for the fact that in periods of drought, when water is needed the most. The flow of the Reka Timavo River is less than the requirement. The waters remain abundant only in the mysterious depths of the karst. From the large chasm, the path of the Reka Timavo River, roughly 25 miles long as the crow flies, lays unknown. All we know is that the river returns above ground at San Giovanni Duino along the Adriatic Sea, and that it must run around Trieste. Therefore, the water officials know that the only possible solution is to intercept the Reka Timavo River. The problem is 
that no one knows exactly where the mysterious river flows. <laughs>